Okay, PoE, this is for the in-class students. What we're going to be doing is, this is the, uh, the design brief for the remote control car project or a remote control vehicle. And in class, we came up with an idea that, you know, we are working for uh, NASA under contract and the consumers are the astronauts and the scientists at the facilities and our individual teams are going to be coming up with this design and our problem statement that we have for it is that NASA wants a prototype of a vehicle that can pick up samples remotely and be able to store the materials inside the vehicle for later pickup. Uh, so the design statement that we stuck with was we're going to design a remote control vehicle that will be able to uh, drive forward and backwards, be able to turn left and right, have collision detection, uh, headlights that turn on with a button or a limit switch, and be able to pick up a light rock and store it in a container. So these are going to be the building constraints that we're going to have to deal with, or, or sorry, the criteria. It's going to have to do those things. Uh, there's a couple of constraints as well, too. So the criteria kind of fit right within the uh, design statement. And the constraints that we're going to have for this is that you're going to only be able to have one battery. Uh, the weight limit on it is going to be four pounds because if you have to get it in space, weight is definitely a consideration. Uh, you must use at least two sensors. Uh, I'm going to guess that one of them is going to be a rangefinder, although if you want to surprise me, you're more than welcome to. I don't have any uh, many more materials other than for you guys to use three motors per team, and you're limited to one servo. So you can use three motors or, I guess I should probably write it this way, or two motors in one servo. Let's write it that way, because I only have enough for one servo per team. I don't have enough for servos for everybody. I am not the servo Oprah. Uh, it's a time constraint. We only have one week to be able to do it in, so we're going to start it today, and it's, we're going to have all the way till next week to be able to do that. And the last thing is I want the maximum programming time for anybody to be in front of the screen to be 15 minutes, which means I don't want just one person programming this entire thing. I want you guys to switch and take turns. Okay, once again, if you're a virtual student, you don't need to watch this video. If you're a virtual student, I have a different video for you guys. It's the one right above it, so you need to click that one instead. Uh, because if you look at that and you're like, oh my gosh, how do I build this? The answer is no, you're just going to be focusing on the programming. Okay, so this is only for my in-class kids. I'm going to put in the uh, five things that we normally have for the engineering process. So you'll be able to turn in, uh, define the problem, generate concepts, develop the solution, construct, and then evaluate. All of those are going to be available for you guys to turn in as soon as I can get videos individually put in for them. So um, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.